Hey everybody and welcome to the interview with Thomas Charles Worth. Um, I just forgot his name. So I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We're um, we've been well. Um, at least um, <laughs> I thought we were good friends, but may, uh, maybe uh, maybe since um, I forgot your name, then not but, a problem. Uh, but, but but Charles Worth is kind of a hard. Um, it's very uh, Elizabethan Victorian sort of name, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then. Um, so. So. Thomas is uh, w one of the interesting. W w well. There's. Um, I wanted to interview Thomas because there's lots and lots of interesting stuff about uh, um, about you. And um, one of the things is you're from England, and yep. from Thailand, right? Yep. And um, could you could you talk about that? Well, actually, not just English and Thai, but I'm technically twenty five percent English and twenty five percent Swedish. Because my my dad is half Swedish, half English. Okay. So there's uh, did, did quite I, a few mixes Did I there. know that before? Or I think you did. Okay. But maybe you forgot. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, damn! You forget my last name. You forget you forget where a quarter of my ancestors came from. Yeah. Um, so, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, okay, so so and then um, how much of how much of your time have you spent in England and in Thailand? Uh, so I've actually spent most of my time in Thailand. Uh -huh. um, I grew up. I was born here in Thailand. I grew up here, uh, but I usually visit, uh, uh, go back and visit England every year uh -huh. to see family. Um, now, now when I do, it's just to see my parents. Yeah. So yeah, I grew I grew up here in Thailand most of my life. I would consider oh. myself more Thai than I am English. Oh, okay, yeah. because I um, I always consider you more English than um, Thai. Okay, but um, but but you um, but you um, you obviously know like as much about Thailand as um, regular regular Thai. Well, well, not not that you're not a regular Thai person. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but most um, most regular Thai people can't say speak English um, yeah. very very well. So, um, okay. So, ha have you ever been to Sweden? Yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, twice. First time was to see family. Uh, I was very young then, uh, and then the second time was about two years ago or three years ago. I went on a snowboarding trip with uh, my family. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, so I have a, I have a friend from, or uh, I have a friend in the U.S. and she always goes to Sweden, mm -hmm. um, and she she says nothing but positive stuff about Sweden. Yep. And actually, I I, I met a Swedish guy in uh, um, in Thailand, and I was telling that story to, my, um, I was telling that story, and he's like, ah, oh, yeah, she's um, she, um, she's totally full of it. Sweden's a horrible place. Right. Um, so anyway, it's um, uh, what's. What's my take on it? Yeah. Um, do, you, um, do you agree with my friend, or do you agree with the old, bitter Swedish guy that I met? I, I, I think Sweden is actually a very nice place. Um, in the summer, it's it's extremely nice. Summer's really nice. Uh, winter, uh, I've only been there on holiday, so I can't say for sure. But it wasn't really that bad in winter. I mean, it's, it's really cold, but... I don't know. I guess I was just there for snowboarding, so I can't, I can't say that much if winter is really that bad. I can understand some people having to uh, go to sleep and it's dark, wake up and it's still dark, and then see a few hours of sunlight, and then by the time they get home it's dark again, so maybe it is bad. But from my personal experiences, it was okay. I like Sweden. Cool. And have you been to the Swedish restaurant over... On, it's like soy 18 or something no um, and maybe it's just because I don't like I guess I can say I don't like Swedish food that much and that's probably because my Swedish side of the family are terrible cooks uh, so I probably never had good Swedish food huh oh so anyway this this I only went there once but the Swedish food was awesome and I, I, oh, okay. I, I, I can't remember what it, it it sounded like a Spanish name, but um, it, anyway, I can't remember about that. Oh, and so, so England. So, so why why do you have an English accent? If you that's that it's funny you say that because when I talk to English people, they say I don't have the British accent. They say I just have this mixed accent. 
like an, a non-accent. It's not American. It's not English. It's not anything. It's sort of its own thing. So, so um, actually, your your accent kind of reminds me of my little brother. Um, so, so my uh, my mom. Uh, I'm I'm like you. My mom is British. Yep. Um, but but like 100 percent 100 percent British mm. and uh, and then my dad's American and so um, when I was uh, when I was a kid then um, I um, I was really afraid of like saying British words in Idaho right um, because uh, because you get beaten up and then <laughs> and, and then my uh, my little brother he um, I don't think he ever cared. So he always said British words, and then he got beaten up, and now um, now he's a um, MMA fighter, and he's like super buff. But now he beats them up. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, I um, I took the I took the easy way out, and I just never said British British words. So so um, he's he's got a YouTube channel, and on one of his latest videos, he he says vitamin, not vitamin. Oh yeah. And so so he um, he's he's speaking, and he says vitamin, and then he said yeah, I I say vitamin, not vitamin, because my mom's um, British. So, so um, I I heard um, I heard you say a word like um, when, when we were talking earlier with uh, there was a very very British pronunciation. Um, um, do, um, do you know what do you know which words you say British British wise? Uh, like been again. What? Um, <laughs> I I have been to the store. I will go to the store again. I've been to the store. Oh, uh, um, I'm I'm just throwing out like words like vitamin, oh. um, lorry. I, um, I don't well, <laughs> I I mean I'm probably a traitor here, but there are some words which I do pronounce the American way. Uh -huh. I guess I do say vitamins. Okay. Which, which is American, yeah. Uh, and herbs or herbs. I say herbs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else I can say? But but herb. Wait, and yeah, I'm not actually sure is, which way is the English way. Oh, it's it's uh, and and I'm not really sure too because I, uh, and actually when I uh, when I was a kid there was a whole bunch of words I just didn't ever say. Yeah. Because I was like, is it? Um, so um, so so herbs, herbs was one of them. Well, well, I I started saying that like in my mid twenties and mm. um, vitamins vitamins took me a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, now I now I pretty much use all. Uh, well, I think I I think I always have used pretty much all. Um, but but anyway, um, that, uh, that's one of the hardest things to. Uh, uh, that's one of the hardest things to remember is like how you just said something. Yeah. And and especially because um, I'm I'm trying really hard to learn to learn the Thai language. And a lot of times I'll ask someone to say, "Hey, what did you just say?" Yeah. And um, people don't really think. Like, like you don't really when uh, when you're talking you don't really think what you're gonna say and then say it it's kind of like everything's mix mixed in together and so when uh, when 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 you go back and say hey well what did you just say it's really really hard to yeah. for for pretty much anyone to do that um okay so jump um, jumping around in my questions um one of the things one of the things that I'm super jealous of you about is your typing speed is like. 20 to 40 words per minute higher than my typing speed and I've been trying like my whole life to type really really fast and so so I so I kind of feel like whenever I, uh, whenever I see you I feel like a failure uh, because <laughs> you're um, you're just a you're just a kid who's been typing for how, for how long like um, less than less than 10 years uh, probably got my first computer when I was eight okay so seven or eight yeah so and then and then how so that'd be about yeah, t ten years. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, and then, um, and then I've been typing for um, ever since your um, parents oh. were in. Um, Sorry, fifteen years, not ten. Okay. If I, if it was ten, I'd be eighteen <laughs> years old. <laughs> that was really bad, quick maths. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's uh, that's a that's a British that's a British. Um, yes, the S on the end of maths. Um, and and at first I at first I thought that was a mistake because. Mm -hmm. In Thailand, they have a lot of like interesting or loose grammar, and so I, I, I always go to the bookstore and I saw all these books on maths. Right. And at first, I thought, aha, another great example of Thai English, but it's, but no, no, it's it's, it's, it's English. <laughs> it's English, English. Yeah. 
Okay, so so um, so back to um, back to back uh, back to typing. So you you've been typing for fi for fifteen years. I've been typing for like twenty years longer than that, mm -hmm. and um, and you've been typing at like a hundred plus words a minute for. I can tell you why. Okay, why? And that's because of one game that I played in my childhood called RuneScape. RuneScape's an MMORPG, uh -huh. uh, and back in those days, in 2007, 2005, or whatnot, uh, in order to buy stuff or items from other players, everyone would advertise what they're selling. There wasn't like an auction house or something where you could take your in-game items to sell to other players. You'd have to manually look for someone who wants to buy it. So, uh, what people would do is they would meet at the central city and they type selling uh, salmon, you know, selling salmon 50 each and then hyphen their name in game so they'd know who to trade. And people would continuously type the same thing over and over and again for hours and peop for people to trade them so, you, so other players would know what you were selling or buying. So when I had a bunch of stuff I needed to sell, I would go to the city in the game and I'd stand there uh, in game uh, or sitting in real life and just type the same thing over and over again. Selling trout, 50 each. Selling <laughs> trout, 50 each. And I typed that over and over again for hours until I sold all of them. And that's where actually a lot of people my age who have played the same game have gotten their typing speed. It's because of that game. Wow. That is um, fascinating. Mm. And um, and that's really um, that's really uh, that's a really cool method too. Yeah, and and I'm sure if anyone is watching this video who's my age, they probably know what I'm talking about because that was a childhood for everyone who was born around my time. Uh huh. Yeah. And, we, and, and what was the game? RuneScape. RuneScape. Yeah. And you couldn't copy and paste. No, you couldn't back then. They they had no auction <laughs> house or anything. People were just spam typing nonstop. Wow. Yeah. So that's um that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Huh. There's a lot of memes about that too. Just such uh, RuneScape uh, typing meme or something like that. You'll probably find one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, so is you? Uh, but but now your now now your typing speed's even faster because I because um, I remember you like practicing on ten. Uh, Ten fast fingers. Ten fast or? fingers, yeah. And I was getting around ninety-five, that sort of thing. Uh huh. But that was because I was typing the wrong way. Uh huh. If you remember, I used my index finger for a space bar. Uh huh. But oh yeah, yeah, because you were typing like I this, right? Uh, my my left hand was fine, but uh -huh. my right hand was weird because I was I was moving my hand like this, and the index finger was going between keys and the space bar. But ever since I switched to using my thumbs for space bar, my typing speed has gone up. So what's uh, what's your typing speed now? Uh, it's around a hundred and five to one hundred and ten. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and when um, so so I, um, I, sw I I switch keyboards from QWERTY to Dvorak, um, yeah. trying um, trying to get my typing speed faster. Mm. And I think the the last time I the last time I tested myself on QWERTY I was eighty eighty two. Yep. And now on Dvorak I'm like eighty four. Mm. Um, like. Ten years later, yeah. And so, uh, but but I haven't done like typing typing drills recently. Yeah. So maybe. well, appa apparently, if you learn to Vorak properly, you're supposed to be able to type faster, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so so um, so whenever somebody asks me about Dvorak, they're like, "Oh, hey, is is your typing speed um, up?" And and it was just like when I was vegetarian, mm -hmm. and people are like, "Oh, hey, um, are you getting great health benefits from being vegetarian?" <laughs> and I was like, um. That's not why I became vegetarian, so I haven't noticed anything. And and um, sorry, I, I I forgot my I, I had a great point, but um, but but my overall point was that something about the Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so so my typing uh, my typing speed went or um, my 
typing speed didn't really change very much, but my but it feels much much more comfortable to type. So I I enjoy typing a lot a lot better. But um, but like typing speed, and actually the the top the top typist in the world is a QWERTY typist still I think, or or or, or was until uh, was until like um, just like five years ago. So yeah. So so it's not um, it's not like it makes that much of a difference. Um. Oh, and you said um, one of the things. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, be, uh, because uh, you and your girlfriend um, go on vacations, and then um, um, like um, like lots of Thai people take beautiful um, pictures, and and, and then she at least posts on um, social media. Mm -hmm. So so I was wondering if you could tell like some of the some of the cool places that you've gone on on vacation. Um, um, some of the some of the things you like uh, you like about them. So so, so like start um, start with one. Uh, where uh, where's the last time? Where's the last place you've gone on vacation? The last place was Pattaya, uh, or some you know people pronounce Pattaya or Pattaya. Yeah. Uh, we when we go on vacation there, uh, we go to a lot of touristy areas, and we try to book a hotel close to. Uh, Close to the touristy areas, like next to Terminal or the Central. Uh -huh. And our favorite place to go there is is a restaurant called Hops. Have you been there? I, I, I've told you about it. Um, hops, Hops, like H O P S. H O P S. Or, yeah. Or not House of Beers. No, no, that's Hops. <laughs> <laughs> no so, Hops. So, so is Hops better than House of Beers? Oh yeah, definitely. So, um, and actually, I've. Um, yeah, I think you told me about it, and I uh, when I uh, when I went to add it to my Google Maps, I'd already um, I'd already added it before, so I, I must have seen it on some like list right. of top restaurants. Um, so so yeah. tell, um, tell me about oh it's hops it's amazing. Uh, you go in and it's a it's a really nice restaurant. There's uh, two floors, and uh, they're a microbrewery, so they have their own beer. They have a lager version and uh, a wheat beer version. Uh, you can choose when you order. Um, and, and and that's um, that's awesome because there are like two microbreweries in Thailand, and yeah. then, and, and then three, um, three if you count Tawandang, and then four if you count um, uh, the place on Rama two that's about to shut down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's uh, there. Um, Thailand just doesn't really have microbreweries, so yeah. so so it's an actual like real microbrewery. Yeah, it's a real microbrewery. Yeah, and they they have really good beer. Um, their food is also excellent. Uh, they have really good pizza. It's oven fired right in front of your eyes, and they have good pizza. I mean, it's it's not it's not bad pizza. That a lot of pizzas in Thailand places you go to are really not great, but this is up there. Oh, and um, actually, that's um, that's one of the things that I didn't write down that I wanted to talk to you about is is pizza in pizza, Thailand. Since, right. Um, so. And uh, but 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 before we but before we get to that, your um, it's pizza is like really important to your family, right? Because because you have like a like in at your dad's house, you have a oh yeah, we have a pizza oven. Yeah. And um, c um, could you um, could you um, could you talk about that, and then we'll come back to the house of or the house of pops or oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, so your uh, your family. Because um, I think you told me that they like made made it like you you bought the house and then you made it afterwards, or you were oh. only looking for houses with no. pizza ovens in. Or, <laughs> no, not um, it, it. It was some interesting story that I only remember like no, no, two percent no. of. Uh, so yeah, we bought a house in Portugal, uh -huh. uh, up in the hills, in a little village called Coja. I, I pro I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it's it's <laughs> closest to the main city called Arganil. Um, and yeah, so I've always enjoyed making pizza with my dad. Uh, back when uh, they, uh, my parents lived in Bangkok with us, uh, we we used to make pizzas all the time. But we'd use a conventional oven. But at least we had uh, one of those pizza stones, like the slabs that you put in the oven, just so you you'd get the bottom, like a real pizza. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So in Portugal, my dad had a bunch of uh, you know construction workers uh, to build him a pizza oven, and it's really good. Uh, the last time I went, we did pizzas, and, uh -huh. and it's it's a proper wood-fired oven pizza. So, and and what's a uh, what's a wood-fired um, oven? Because I 
There, um, there was a place in Bangkok that advertised wood-fired oven, but but then the um, the oven was like it was made out of aluminum and. Oh no um, no that's that's and, not good. <laughs> That's not so. Um, so I, I I was gonna I was gonna tell you about it, but then I thought, oh yeah, that's um, mm. like because um, because I think you, you showed me a picture and it's a it's a pretty big it's yeah a pretty big it's, thing right it's it's made out of uh, like like bricks and I don't know what they cover it in but it's mostly made out of bricks I guess clay and stuff so so and it looks like this chimney yeah, kind of thing it's kind of like a little dome with a chimney on top okay I would say yeah. And uh, it's quite spacious in the center, like an igloo. Uh -huh. And the you you have burning wood at the back. So so inside or, the ig yeah. inside the igloo, inside you, put, the igloo you, you, put the, you put the wood on the side. Yeah, uh, you put the woods on on the back, just around the edges. Okay. And uh, because of the the igloo style, uh, you know, design, it sort of just creates a lot of heat around, like an oven. Okay, and so even though the woods at the back, then it cooks it evenly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Huh. And and so that's the same that's the same thing that Pops has. Yeah, they have that. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now I definitely have to go to and and how uh, how do you say uh, pate again? Pa, uh, pa, pa, pa what? Uh, the <laughs> the foreign way is uh, if you are a foreigner and you can't pronounce it the Thai way, you should say pataya or pataya. But. I don't want to hear anyone say pataya because that's absolutely wrong. And then if you're, you know, you can pronounce it the Thai way, you can say pataya. Okay. So yeah. Okay. But, um, thanks for the, yeah. thanks for the Thai lesson too. Yeah. But not pataya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, um, so, so is that is um is that the best pizza you've had in Thailand? No. Uh, uh best pizza. I've had in Thailand is kind of tied between, I'd say, two places. One because it's quite unique, and I really like their pizza. Uh, it's the one down on Asok Station, right under the BTS called uh, Pala. Their pizza is quite unique. I I I haven't had pizza like that anywhere else, and I think it's it's really great. Um, I don't know yeah, that's that's, um, that, um, that's one of my favorite places too. Yeah, yeah, they make good pizzas there. Uh, and then the other one I really like is at a small little restaurant called Pepe's Italian uh, Food and Wine. You have probably never heard of it. Uh, have and you? Um, no, I don't. I, I don't think so. And I uh, um, that's one of my uh, that's one of my goals is to. Um, eat at all the pizza restaurants in Bangkok. Yeah, and, and, and there, uh, there, there are a lot of them. Mm. Well, Pepe originally started his restaurant uh, without pizza. He didn't have pizza at his restaurant. It was just an Italian food restaurant and wine. Uh -huh. um, it's a nice little place down on uh, Sukhumvit 60. Okay. Just at Bangchak Station. Um, in oh. Sukhumvit 60, you go in and you'll see it straight away. Small little restaurant. You you have to make a booking because there's not a lot of space. Okay. Uh, but they. Pepe cooks most of the dishes himself, and he's a really nice guy, and his food is absolutely outstanding. And he's only just started making pizza. He's bought like a second floor to his uh, restaurant, which is the place where he's making the pizza, and it's it's really good, really good pizza there. Cool, that's uh, that's awesome. So, uh, uh, but that's actually one of my biggest um, complaints about. Bangkok pizza because um, like like I come from the U.S. and so pretty much everywhere in the U.S. serves U.S. style pizza. Like a New York slice? Um, no, um, that's um, like um, like I I don't think well I I'm from Idaho and then I lived in Utah most of my life. Yep. Um, and I don't think we really have New York style pizza um, there. It's this. Um, I, I'm not sure what style of pizza uh, we have uh, we have there, but um, but uh, but it's um, it's definitely like American style, right? And um, and then um, my favorite pizza is pepperoni pizza, okay. and my uh, my my little sister lived in Italy for a while, and yeah. when uh, when, she, uh, when she came back, she said um, Joseph. There's no such thing as pepperoni pizza because uh, pepperoni in Italy means little pepper. Yeah, and so <laughs> and so you wouldn't put a you wouldn't grate up a bunch of peppers and put them on a, a pizza and then just serve that as the pizza. Yeah, 
Um, so so um, pepperoni pizza, like if you if you ever see pepperoni pizza, then I guess that's like uh, U.S. style, and that's and pepperoni pizza is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So whenever I go, um, and, and I, I I love pizza, but I love pepperoni pizza, and when I when I go to uh, when I go to a pizza restaurant, and I look at the menu um, it, it, in Bangkok, and I'm looking for where's the pepperoni, where's the pepperoni, and I don't see pepperoni, I'm like, <laughs> oh, damn, another Italian restaurant. Um, but but um, that's um, that's one of the um, so so it's and and there's probably there are probably more Italians than Americans coming to Thailand so yeah. so they're um, they're probably um, that's probably why there's so many like real um, real pizzas in in Thailand so um, so so anyway that's um, that's my that's my biggest gripe mm -hmm. is the, the pizzas are too real yeah because um, they don't because um, a lot of the shops don't have pepperoni mm. well so the only <laughs> toppings I like on my pizzas are either because I usually eat a plain pizza uh -huh. but the only toppings I will have is either olives or some type of parma ham like prosciutto yeah and that's yeah. Um, that's very very Italian yeah because I um, um, that's um, that's what I um, when I uh, when I don't when I, when I don't find the pepperoni I'm like hey what's the closest thing to pepperoni oh <laughs> uh, parma ham or yeah or this one or this one so yeah, it's it's, so it's delicious. For me, the American pizza I would eat is an Amer uh, <laughs> New York slice with no toppings. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I had that yesterday. There's a new place uh, in Bangkok called Soho. Have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. um I've I've been there. It's it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I uh so Alice, my girlfriend, brought me back a slice yesterday. They make the good big big American slices. Yeah, it's um, it's just like um, just like when I went to New York. And, and have you been to Have you been to New York? No, I have not. And have I you would been? Love to. Have you been to the U.S.? No. Okay. So how how do you know so much about New York pizza? Oh, I, uh, I I've watched a lot of videos on New York pizza, <laughs> and I've always wanted to eat them. So I've I've tried it a few times in a few places, and uh, it's good to finally have somewhere with reliable New York slices. Now that I've tried that yesterday. I'm definitely going to be eating from there a lot more because their oh, pizza is oh, really that, good. Oh, that was your very first time? Uh, no, I've had okay. it twice. Oh, okay. Yeah. That. Yeah, and, and and it's cool. It's cool in New York because they have, uh, like, like um, they um, they have the slice. You order the slice. They they warm it up and then it's uh, like like I I really like the rewarmed pizza yeah. it, um, something about that style makes it like way way more more delicious yeah um oh so where uh, where else has good pizza in Bangkok uh I haven't I can't recommend anywhere else really <laughs> that, that's, and, that's my go to pizzas for now these three places and then um have, have you tried pizza mania yeah, that's pretty terrible, in my opinion. Oh, really? Because yeah. I, um, you, you don't own Pizza Mania, do you? Pizza Mania, yeah. Down on Toy 31. Oh, you, um, you, you're the owner? No. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a, a foodie. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, cause, um, cause, um, cause, cause he was saying some bad stuff about Pizza Mania, and you, and you turned around and, uh, and, right. and, 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 and we're, we're recording this on video, so, okay, um, right. so, so I didn't want to, um. What will this be on? Oh, um, my uh, my YouTube channel, um, Joseph Dewey. Joseph Dewey. Yeah. Oh, I also have a YouTube channel. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, um, do you, um, do you I want to follow you? Um, um, do you want to say hi? Yes. <laughs> and and and, and um, uh, what's your name? Hello, Basin at Bangkok. Basin. I do. Wasin. What? Oh, Watson. Watson. Like I do uh, fine dining, restaurant reviews. Oh, okay, oh. cool. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, well I'll, I'll, I'll look you up and let, let's chat. Okay. Okay. Hey, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, and this is Thomas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so you can't recommend anywhere else. Yeah. Um, what about that place across the um, street that serves teeny tiny pizzas? Oh, oh, I recommended that to you, and you said, um, like, usually pizzas like that, you'll spend a thousand baht and still be hungry. Mm. But, uh, was that you that said that? No, I don't okay. think that was me. Okay. So, um, so, so there's a um, there's a place that serves like teeny tiny pizzas. They're they're delicious. Yeah. Um, but every, like, um, 
I went th I went there one time and I said, okay, I've I've got some extra money. I'm going to keep ordering pizzas until I'm full, but um, but they they closed before I um, was full. So um, so yeah. Um, what about the pizza company? Oh no, don't even talk about that. Pizza Hut, Pizza Company, Domino's. We're not <laughs> we're not going there. Okay, and so so the video um, the video cut out. Um, you were. Uh, you were in the middle of a rant about um, pizza company, and and I I think I think the moments the moments lost unless you can like work yourself up and oh, start swinging at yeah. the stuff again. Pizza pizza company, Pizza Hut, Domino's, uh, any of that fast food. Yeah, I can understand why people order it. You know, it's it's fast food, it's quick. You know, you're hungry. Yeah, I can get that if you're gonna have some quick uh, a quick meal. I I've had it before, you know, but. I'm not gonna recommend it because it, it just doesn't <laughs> deserve a recommendation. Okay, and that's uh, that's that's kind of the closest to like the pizza back home because uh, they have Pizza Hut and Domino's or American brands. So. Yeah. And then the pizza company is the Thai version of an American brand. Right. Um, oh, and um, with, uh, with 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 pizza, um, since um, do you put ketchup on your pizza? No. And does your girlfriend put ketchup on her pizza? Yep. Um, can, um, can you describe how Thai people put ketchup on their pizza? Yeah, Thai people seem to put ketchup on everything, really. Anything that's uh, American. I think it also comes from the fact that back ketchup is something that came from the West. And so they thought, you know, Western people put ketchup on everything. So when pizza kind of became a thing in Thailand, they thought pe they were supposed to put ketchup on it. So yeah, Thai people just started putting putting ketchup on their pizza, and they've been enjoying it ever since. <laughs> I have no problem with it. <laughs> okay, and so so um, I'm trying to make my hand look like a pizza. So if um, uh, th uh, this is my memory of how Thai people put ketchup yeah, they on pizza just is squeeze it all it, over. It is is they sque they squeeze it in like um, like, like they're icing a cake. Yeah. Um. So it, is that how your girlfriend eats? Yeah. Yeah, she and, does that. And um, and then do you ever? Like, do you ever finish your piece and say, hey, hey, honey, um, can I take a bite of your ketchup on your pizza? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can have ketchup on your pizza. I'm not going to gatekeep, but, <laughs> but I'm not having some. Okay, and, and then how about, how about steak? Because um, uh, that's the other thing that Thai people spread, um, oh. spread ketchup like, like that. Do you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend does that too. She, and, and, she eats and you steak with her ketchup. Um, I used to be offended when I'd cook her a steak and she put ketchup on my steak, but then I kind of just understood that it's just the thing with Thai people. They just put ketchup on all types of Western food, so you learn to get over it. But myself, obviously, I'm not going to put ketchup or any gravy or anything on my steak. And um, yeah, yeah, because my um, my mom's my mom's from England, and mm -hmm. if I if if she made me a steak. And I spread ketchup all over. Oh, then, oh um, she'd hurt you. <laughs> uh, my, my my mom's a dear angel that would never hurt me. Oh. But uh, but uh, but <laughs> but, uh, but 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 uh, but she'd um, yeah yeah. Um, oh, so um, so recently you um, wait. Got, oh. Sorry, could I just go back to yeah, the yeah, steaks? Yeah. Okay. There is one type of sauce, and this stems from my inner Thai that I've eaten steak with before, and I can recommend because this sauce just goes with any type of protein in Thailand. Uh, it's called Nam Jim Jiao. You know what that is, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's I mean, awesome. It's so awesome, and with a steak, like... You you wouldn't pour it on top of your steak, but you you dip your little steak slices in in the little in the cup of nam jim chow, and you'd have that. And it, and I think that that's that's actually okay. And I've um, so every time I've had uh, how do you say it again? Nam, nam jim, jim chow. Nam jim chow. Um, yeah. Every time I've had nam jim chow, it's been awesome. But there's there's this one there's this one restaurant that uh, that they it's it's more of like a smoky. Uh, uh, um, mm. Smoky flavor, like, like like kind of like Chipotle. Yeah. Um, like like they they bake the they bake the chilies and then they make the um, they make the sauce out of it and it's uh, so so um, 
that um, that sauce is is great. And, and you're right, it goes with everything. Mm, yeah. Like like a lot of times when um, when I'm eating with people and they're done uh, and they're done with a steak and they take away the plate, I want to say no no no. You can take away the plate, but don't take away the nam jim jail. Nam jim jail. Leave that behind. Yeah. Because <laughs> I want to dip my um, I want to dip my som tom in it. I want to yeah. dip um, every um, everything. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's awesome. Yeah, that's my favorite Thai sauce. Yeah. Okay, so 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 we talked about your vacation to Pattaya, mm -hmm. and uh, where's uh, where uh, where's your vacation before that? Uh, we took our first vacation in uh, Nakhon Nayok. Nakhon what? Nakhon Nayok. Nakhon Nayok? Yeah. Uh, it's only... I, I forget because it was so long ago. Um, I, I think it's like an hour and a half or two hours out of and Bangkok. North, south, east, west? I think it's north. Oh. I might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so, a while. So did, um, did you drive or...? No, Al Alice drove, my girlfriend. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we went there because she had a, a university project. Okay. It was like a, a like a video for for a project, um, and we went to the famous. There's a big dam in uh -huh. in Nakhonayo, and we went there and we had some of the food there, and it's really great. Um, but it's not really a touristy place. That was my first vacation with her. Um, the touristy place that I went off of that was uh, Chiang Mai. Okay. Yeah, Chiang Mai was a lot of fun. And I've 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 never been to Chiang Mai, but everyone everyone always tells me, oh, that's like the place to go. Mm. So, so so why uh, why was it so fun? Uh, it's well, I guess there's stuff for every age group. Uh -huh. You you've got you know all the all the ancient you know wats and and all the history stuff for you know. Tour, uh, older tourists who'd like to come, you know, <laughs> and see Thai culture, and then for the young generation, it's sort of a like a party hub for the people who live up north of Thailand, because they they they're quite built up there. There's no high rises, but they're they've built up Chiang Mai into a place where a lot of young people like to travel. Oh, cool. So it's. It, is it like um, is it like a upscale Khao San Road or? I guess you could say that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's uh, that's cool. So, um, oh, and and random question: Where's your favorite place to go on Khao San Road? My favorite place to go on Khao San Road is a little bar called Kim's Cocktails. Kim's Cocktails. Yes. Uh, they make crap cocktails, but. But it's just a nice place. I've been going there since I was uh, young. Okay. Yeah. So it's um, the co the cocktails are terrible, but are are, are they cheap or are they is yes. like oh well, everything on Cal San Road is cheap anyway. <laughs> so so cheap and cheap good atmosphere, bad cocktails. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds um sounds like a winning recipe, especially on on Cal San Road. Yeah. Um and um you you went to Japan right or am I thinking of Kuwait? no 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 I have not been to Japan before. Okay. Okay, I'm 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 probably thinking of Kun Woi then. Okay. Um, so um, could you um you um you're kind of a famous YouTuber because you're well, well like I'm yeah, yeah you make <laughs> you um you made um, you made one video um well, well I'm not as famous as that, as that guy what's his name Watson. Watson in Bangkok or uh, yeah any? something like that. Oh, okay. Well, well, you can go back. Let's see it in this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and um, yeah, yeah, and then um, and then then that'll be awesome. Yeah. And, instead of interview with Thomas Charlesworth, um, interview with Watson in Bangkok and this one guy I know. Yeah. Um. So, um, sorry. What was my question? Oh, oh, oh. About um. So, so, so your most famous um YouTube video has a hundred thousand views. And my uh, my most famous YouTube video has eleven thousand views, uh -huh. um, and um, and like a whole bunch of links all over um, point, um, pointed to it. Um, but um, but but yours is um, uh, yours your uh, w w w well can, um, can you give well uh, can you give a, can you give background on it and yeah and 
So I and I, and, and like like how ha, how you made it because that seems a little bit complicated. Oh, okay. Well, actually, it wasn't complicated. Uh, eight years ago, uh, I played Minecraft uh, when it was just released um, in the alpha version, and uh, I made a thirty-second video of the recreation of the uh, This is Sparta scene where Leonidas kicks down the messenger uh, down the well as he says This is Sparta and it's just a little recreation of that in Minecraft it's only about 30 seconds and for some reason I don't know why maybe the YouTube algorithm recommended my video but it just shot up to 100,000 views within a few days and then it just stopped I didn't get any more views after that <laughs> So that was really weird. Wow, that's um, that's awesome. So so did you did you yell "This is Sparta"? No, no, I, I used the sounds from the movie. Oh, okay. Uh, so, um, yeah. Huh. Okay. And um, let me see. Um, tell me. So. So, um, what's what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie. Lord of the Rings. The whole trilogy. And then, how many times have you watched um, Lord of the Rings? I've watched the trilogy a total of 14 times. 14 times? Yes. And, and you haven't lost count? No. Uh, do, you, uh, uh, do you, like, knife um, knife in your wall every time you... <laughs> no, no. I just... I, I keep count every time I watch it. Huh. That's, uh, that's cool. And... And then, um, do you notice new things every time? Yes, or? That's, that's the really great thing about watching a movie again is if it's a good enough movie to watch again and you watch it again you'll notice new things every time and then what's um, so so when's the last time you watched it uh, last week okay and then what's uh, what's something uh, what what's something or a few things you noticed um, uh, recently oh uh, so this time when I watched it you know the famous Wilhelm scream um. <laughs> Do you, do you know what the Wilhelm scream is? I'm not going to recreate it. No, I'm not doing it. Um, can you do it in Minecraft? No, so, sorry. I'm <laughs> okay, so, so the famous Wil Wilhelm scream. I think it's called Wilhelm scream. It's used in so many movies. Uh -huh. It just became like a, a tradition among directors of movies. The, the Wilhelm scream. Um, most, most, most notably became famous, I think, because of Star Wars. When a stormtrooper was thrown off the side of a a roof or something. Oh, so that um, that's like the name of that type of... Like, that type. Like they a, use this sound effect, the scream, when someone gets thrown off something or shot or killed or okay. whatever, yeah. Oh, and that's uh, that's why you're not going to recreate it because you're... Well, no, because um, I probably sound like a dying animal if I try to recreate the scream. Uh, but 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 now, um, now everyone wants to hear oh, you. Oh, no, um, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could put a sound effect in for the viewers. Oh, I um, th uh, that's uh, that's the me of um, six months from now. Okay. But, um, the, um, the me of today. Um, yeah. So can't, uh, can't do that. So, back to my point. Um, so, so, so anyway, it's uh, um, it's a, it's a scream and. Yeah, and this time when I went through the trilogy, uh, I count. I I wasn't. I w well, I didn't count, but I noticed all the screams, how many they were, they were using, and I thought it would probably only appear once, mm -hmm. per per uh, per movie. But they actually use that sound effect in quite a few scenes. In the oh movie. wow! Yeah. So that um, that is interesting. Yeah. And then what? Um, what's what's something else you what's something else you noticed? Oh oh, and like um, like for me, um, my my favorite movie is The Big Lebowski. Yeah. And one of the things, like I I noticed this after watching it like my fifth fifth time, is like so many times that something from the beginning of the show gets referenced at like the end of the show. Yeah. So so anyway, um, like if you if you were to ask me that question about the Big Lebowski, that um, that's what I would say, even though, even though I've seen it like twenty times after that. Mm. But but like, what's um, what's another what's another thing that you like noticed about Lord of the Rings that um, that a that a casual viewer like me um, may not have um, picked up on? Uh, did you know? And you've seen the whole trilogy. Uh, mm -hmm. The scene where. Aragorn is fighting off the orcs after Boromir is shot by the bows and arrows. Uh, one of the orcs throws a knife at him, and he deflects it. Do you remember that scene? Um, Probably not. Well, 
But um, but but hearing you describe it um, makes it very vivid in my yeah. head. Yeah. So what was supposed <laughs> to happen was uh, he, the orc actor, wasn't actually supposed to throw the knife. It was a real knife um, at Aragorn. Uh, well, what's the actor's name? Do you remember the actor's name who plays Aragorn? No, I'm so, supposed so, to remember this. <laughs> so, so, so the actor that played Aragorn wasn't supposed to let go of the knife. No, uh, the orc wasn't supposed to let go of the knife. The orc was throwing a knife uh -huh. at Aragorn. I guess they were supposed to CGI it or something. Mm -hmm. But he actually let go of the knife, and the knife came towards the actor uh, who plays Aragorn. But Aragorn actually deflects it in real life. That Whoa. that whole deflection where he uses a sword to swipe that that knife was real. That was not a stunt. <laughs> that was an accident. Wow, that's um, that's really cool. Yeah, and and, and scary at the same time. Yeah, and there's also another scene in which the actor uh, of Aragorn, uh, where he finds out that the hobbits have been kidnapped by the orcs, and he thinks they're dead because he finds a bunch of clothes on the floor that's burnt, um, and he kicks a orc helmet and screams out in anger and falls to the ground uh -huh. uh, it's a really intense scene and the reason why is because actually when he kicks the helmet he actually broke his toe in real life <laughs> but instead of stopping acting he uses that pain in that scene and that's what really sets the emotion in that scene huh. so that's another behind that's, the scenes that is really interesting so, 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 so you've also read a lot of I've read a lot of stuff, stuff in on the it. background yeah. that's really cool yeah and then one more, one more um, interesting thing that that I probably don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of one. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't think of one off the top of my head right now. Okay, so 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 the next uh, the next thing is a is a Thai quiz. Oh and no! <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've been dreading. <laughs> and um, so, so an an interesting thing is well, um, I, I I I try really hard to learn Thai. Yeah. But my um, my to my tones are terrible. And um, the biggest the biggest thing I, that I think that Thai people are listening for, in a word, is is first the tone, and then uh, like like. Um, I read, um, I read something about that everyone's like listening for something different, mm -hmm. and um, and so, and so I think, I think for me when I'm listening for something, I'm listening for the sounds, yeah, as as one of the first things, but um, but with, but with Thai people, they're um, from what I can tell, they're listening for the tones first and then the sounds, and so, so the um, the sounds uh, the sounds of my Thai are pretty good, mm -hmm. and. Um, and then, and then I, um, the sounds that I don't pronounce exactly right, I know that I'm, um, I know how I'm pronouncing them wrong. But but my my tones my tones are terrible. Yeah. And so, um, and so, st um, still like if I if I meet a Thai person for the first time, it takes about five minutes before their ears adjust to me talking in a monotone Thai. Um, which which doesn't actually make sense sense for people, and within that five minutes, usually they run away and won't talk to me. So I'm like, hey, come back, come back. You're this close to understanding my Thai. But um, but but anyway, your um, your your tone your tones are awesome. Okay. And um, and I th I thought. And, and 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 your tie um, your tie is your, your tie is good but not perfect. Is yeah. that a yeah. is that a fair That's um, a, statement? Yeah. And so so you could walk up to any Thai person and start talking and they understand what you're talking about. Yeah. Where um, I can walk up to um, like zero percent of Thai people <laughs> and start talking Thai. Well, well um, every time every time I walk up to a Thai person and start speaking Thai, they look at me and and um, some um, someone I. I think you're the one that explained this to me. Is, is that they think I'm speaking English? Yeah. They're like, so what the cup? What word? What English word is that? Uh, <laughs> he wants a saw. Um, so. 
So anyway, um, I thought um, I thought it'd be interesting if if I gave you just some common words in Thai, and and I'll I'll say I'll say my wrong way of saying it, and then you say the more correct way of saying it. Okay. And and because you're um, and 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 so like one of the things one of the things that's really really hard for foreigners when they're learning Thai is that Thai people either drop a lot of sounds or say sounds very very slightly yeah like uh, like, like the word cop which is uh, uh, the word cop which is the way Thai people say yes um, yes sir like say, uh, like like if you're if you're my boss I might say cop 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 yeah. um, just just like li- li- like you're you're talking and I say cop 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 uh, as a nice way of saying yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah but 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 when when, when Thai people say um, cop they're not saying cop cop um it's it's mm-hmm. more like cop cop cop, and so it's really really hard to to actually hear the the p yeah. in cop. So, um, so I I guess we could start with that with that with that word. Um, I'll say cop, and you say crap. Okay. And, and and can can you say it both ways with the r and without the r? Crap and cop. Crap and cop. Okay. Yeah, and 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 so it's a it's a interesting weird thing about Thai is that when the second letter of a syllable is R or L, then in almost all speech, then Thai people drop it. Mm. Okay, so so the next um, the next word is the word for chicken, which is gai. Gai. Okay, and then the next word is the word for egg, which is kai. Kai. And the next word is the word for. Um, I was gonna say nest, which is I think. Do you know the word for nest? Nest. It's like r- rung or room or. Um, so. Oh. Well, lang, lang, lung. No, lang. Is it lang? Uh, may, uh, maybe no. I, uh, maybe I should pick words that. Um, yes, yes, it is. Lang no. Lang no. Lang no. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's bird's nest. Okay. So so I would say I would say um, rung, yeah. and but but the correct word is. Is it? Yeah, uh, it, it, I'm not actually sure. Is it with the the law <laughs> Yeah. So um. So 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 that's um. That's the other thing is that in regular speech, then Thai people pronounce R and L identically, but um, but but like um, movie stars or like um, n- newscasters, they um they they kind of roll their R's. Mm. So so a lot of um a lot of people. Uh, like think they're speaking R and L differently, but in in like reality, then um, so, um, so that's why it's uh, no. Yeah, but 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 say um say it say it how you were lang no. Okay. Yeah. So so I would say wrong, wrong no, and you say lang no. Okay. Very good. And okay. Wow. That's um that's very uh, very very difficult, and I didn't even know the word, and you knew the word. <laughs> Okay, so the next word is the number one, and I would say nung, and I would say nung. Two is song, song. Three is sam, sam. Okay, um, twenty-one is yi sip et, yi sip et. And um, what's um, yellow is luang, luang. Blue is si fa, si, si fa. Um, um, it, is dark blue. Yeah. So so um, light blue is si fa and dark blue is si nam nung and then you say them. Nam ngun. And nam. si fa. Oh si fa. Okay and um, is oh and then um, t is cha. Cha. Okay and and I always say that wrong. I ask for cha and they're like, what? You so, want to do the cha cha? <laughs> So, um, so, 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 how do, how do you say tea? Cha, cha. Okay. And yeah, I, I always try to. Whenever I order tea, I always try and have it in a big sentence. Like, I would, um, I would like, or um, please, can I order the tea that uh, and describe the kind of tea? Yeah. So, so that way people are like, oh, oh, he, um, he wants, he wants green something that sounds like, uh, oh, oh, he's saying tea. Um, okay. Um, um, do, um, do you want me to continue? Because I have a hundred more words. Or uh, is... we could do a few more. <laughs> okay. Um, road. Road is tanon. Tanon. 
um, soy, um, um, soy, um, or Ali, Ali is soy, but um, but a lot of foreigners know um, know the word soy. Um, soy. Okay. Yeah, and, and I'm saying that like soy milk, but um, say, um, say soy again. Like soy. Soy. Yeah. Okay. And um, restaurant is Ran Ahan. Ran Ahan. And um, pancake. So pancake's also a word in Thai is um, pa, um, pancake. No, it's pancake. Pancake? Yeah. Oh, pancake. Okay. Not, not pancake, oh. it's pancake. Pancake. Okay, pancake. Yeah. And well, um, some other. Oh, um, bread is kanom bang. Kanom bang. And um, cake is kanom cake. Yeah, kanom cake. <laughs> and pie is kanom pie. Or just pie. Pie. Yeah, I've never heard someone say kanom pie. Really? Yeah. Okay. The, um, so, so one of the really frustrating things about uh, the re- the reason I say kanom pie is because I've I've read read it in a book. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so I buy um, I I have this whole bookshelf full of how to learn Thai books. Yeah. And um, they have a whole bunch of words that nobody ever uses, um, like, um, and now I'm learning that um, Thai people don't actually say kanom pie. Mm. They do say kanom cake, though. But I've never heard kanom pie. Okay. You, if I, I, you go to McDonald's <laughs> and you want a pineapple pie, you just say pie saparot. Saparot means pineapple. Okay. Um, cool. So let me see. I I have a list of stuff. Oh, so um, what's England like? England. Yeah. Cause I I, I was there when I was uh, um, like three years old. I don't. Um, I I only remember like a staircase. Like that's my like mm. one memory. And it was it was inside. And I've heard it rains a lot and it's dark and dreary and. Mm. Um, uh, well, back when I was young, English summers were ni- a bit cold, but nice, very nice. Uh-huh. Um, winters were very cold, kind of miserable, always raining. Uh-huh. Uh, nowadays, because of climate change, <laughs> um, England's summers have actually gotten pretty hot. Sometimes, and you know how English people don't have air conditioners just because it doesn't make sense when it's usually always cold uh-huh. in a summer in the summer uh sometimes it gets really hot uh and they don't have air conditioners so they need to go out and buy like fans and stuff sleep with a fan on huh. so I, i've had a, had a friend who had to go out and buy a fan just so he could sleep because the english summer got really bad uh english winter is still cold and miserable like usual always raining oh and and um so so um, one of the one of the things that uh, because um, you know how London's a really big city yeah and uh, um, and then like back 400 years ago or something they mm-hmm. had this plague of rats oh yeah so I, I always um, and and I think I had like some little kids books about the plague of rats or so, something I'm um, I, I just remember like hearing the story about a bunch of rats and so, in, in in my mind, like London's infested with rats, mm-hmm. and um, but but I'm not I'm not actually sure if that's true. So 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 my question is: Are there more rats in Bangkok, or are there more rats in London? I've probably seen more rats on the streets of Bangkok than I have seen in London. And have you ever seen a rat in London? Not that I can recall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the um, yeah the uh, the rats uh, the rats in Bangkok are interesting. Yeah, that's but I mean that comes from the fact that in Bangkok people leave trash on the side of the road uh-huh. until the garbage trucks come pick them up, and they're not in bins, so the rats just go all over it. Yeah, it's a it, if you're a rat, um, Bangkok is yeah, a great it's, place it's between a rat haven here, uh, between like nine p.m. and um, four a.m. when yep. the trash gets picked up. Okay, so I think um, I think this is um, any other things you wanted to talk about, or um, is this a good stopping point? Or I think this is a good stopping point. Okay, well, yeah. um, thank you, thank you very much for uh, for being on on my 
um, interview and on my channel, and um, it's been awesome talking to you. Yes, it's been awesome talking to you. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use YouTube anymore, so I'm not going to shout out myself. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks.